Here's a list of pests of Texas corn in the approximate seasonal order and corn growth stage that they can cause damage. Many pest species cause economic damage only for a short time during the growing season. However, some pests remain a threat for much longer periods of time. When viewed all at once like this, these pests can seem kind of daunting, but it's really not that bad. Of the pests on this list, many are infrequent and will seldom be seen. Some on the list are really not pests at all, except at very high numbers, and in most years are actually beneficial to have in the field at lower numbers because they provide early food sources for biological control agents. Examples of this would be English grain aphid and corn leaf aphid. Other pests, while frequent, can be controlled effectively with cultural practices, Bt corn, or timely insecticide applications. Let's break this list down a little bit. Here are the potential early season pests of corn. Many of these pests are hard to scout for prior to planting, or might suddenly move in from nearby vegetation. So seed treatments and soil applied insecticides can be used in fields that traditionally have problems caused by these insects. All commercial field corn has an insecticidal seed treatment applied before it is sold. Cultural control practices are available to help reduce the numbers of some pests before planting and refer to our guide, Managing Insect and Mite Pests of Texas Corn for Specific Practices. On balance, having weedy fields and or fields high in organic matter at planting will encourage higher pest populations. Most of our major pests, such as spider mites, the army worms, and corn earworm, occur statewide, but a few of our pests are regional. The panhandle has to deal with southwestern and European corn borer and western bean cutworm, while the rest of the state does not. Sugarcane borer, Mexican rice borer, and neotropical borer are pests in the lower Rio Grande Valley and on the Gulf Coast. Sugarcane beetle is not a pest in West Texas and on the High Plains. And for rootworms, western corn rootworm is a major pest on the High Plains, but Mexican corn rootworm does not occur in high enough numbers to be a pest. But it can be a major pest in south and central Texas, as can the southern corn rootworm. Only a few of these pests have good cultural control options available, but populations of most can be monitored with pheromone traps. All of the caterpillar species and Mexican and western corn rootworm can be controlled by Bt corn. There are insecticide options for all of these pests, but application timing is critical for most of them, so timely scouting and detection is important. Transgenic corn, or Bt corn, can control all of the caterpillar pests in Texas and the western and Mexican corn rootworm, but not the southern corn rootworm. Check with your seed dealer to find the types that control only caterpillars, only rootworms, or both, depending on what you want. This figure demonstrates that Bt corn greatly simplifies insect control. It lets us avoid using insecticides for many of our pests, and this in turn preserves beneficial insects that often keep populations of other pests under control. To a large extent, this is why insecticide use in corn has gone down dramatically since the introduction of Bt corn. But Bt corn has been planted since 1996, and several insect species, both caterpillars and rootworms, have developed resistance to it. The best way to know which Bt toxins are in the corn hybrids you intend to purchase is to consult the handy Bt trait table, a two-page document that makes it easy to see what you're buying. It also lists the herbicide tolerance for each hybrid and the insects known to be resistant to the hybrid. Our large publication, Managing Insect and Mite Pests of Texas Corn, provides information on all of the major and minor pests of Texas corn. The remainder of this training will focus on the major pests listed here because all of them can cause significant yield loss.